It all began with a bold vision. In 2004, DAPA, the US agency known for pushing the boundaries of technology, launched a competition that would challenge America's top universities to design vehicles that could drive themselves. Teams from Stanford, Princeton, UCLA, and Virginia Tech participated in this race of autonomous vehicle. The DAPA Grand Challenge wasn't just a race. It sparked a movement, laying the foundation for a new era in mobility since those early days, self-driving car technology has come a long way. It's pushed beyond the deserts of Mojave, California and onto the arteries of our 21st century cities. From robotaxis to self-driving delivery vans, the era of autonomous vehicles is here. In this episode, we'll explore the journey from those humble beginnings in the desert to today's state-of-the-art autonomous industry. It all started with the DAPA Grand Challenge. These were the groundbreaking series of competitions that took place between 2004 and 2007 in the Mojave Desert. Universities and research teams from around the country were invited to design vehicles capable of navigating some of the most challenging terrain in this desert, all without a driver. Early attempts were rough. Vehicles broke down, got lost, and few finished the course. Yet, these early trials laid the groundwork for what would soon become autonomous driving. In 2005, Stanford University's team led by Sebastian Thurm achieved a major breakthrough. Their vehicle Stanley successfully completed the 132-mile course. This experiment proved that self-driving technology had a potential beyond research labs. This success drew attention from tech giants and entrepreneurs alike, sparking a wave of innovation that would soon redefine the transportation landscape. As self-driving technology evolved, companies saw potential for new forms of urban mobility and Google was no different. Around this time, Google was one of the first to invest in the technology and set its sight on developing autonomous taxis that could ferry passengers without a driver. They retrofitted a Toyota Prius in 2009 with a bunch of sensors to enable self-driving. This project later became Waymo, a company that's now synonymous with robotaxis. Waymo's early prototypes, affectionately known as Firefly, were among the first vehicles to navigate public roads without a driver. Starting with a simple origami-inspired design, the concept soon evolved into a fully functional prototype. Here is a closer look at the first fully functional version of Firefly developed by Google. Notice how the design resembles a human face with eyes and nose to create a friendly, trustworthy and welcoming appearance for its passengers. In 2015, Steve Mahan, who had been providing valuable user experience feedback to Google, took the first ride in Texas with Firefly. The vehicle demonstrated impressive capabilities, navigating complex scenarios like intersections, lane mergers, and pedestrian crossings with ease, making it clear that autonomy could transform urban transportation. While Firefly's approachable design resonated with passengers, the extensive challenges involved in building a vehicle entirely from scratch, especially one that could handle such intricate traffic conditions, prompted Google to shift its focus. They chose instead to retrofit existing vehicles with sensor stack and focus fully on developing the autonomous software system. Since then, Waymo has expanded, launching its public robotaxi services in places like Phoenix, Arizona, and more. Equipped with advanced sensors, LiDAR, and AI-enabled autonomous navigation system, Waymo's vehicle safely navigates busy city streets, offering a new way to get around without a human at the wheel. Meanwhile, Zooks, a company acquired by Amazon has taken a different approach to the concept of robotaxis. Zux has designed a compact, bi-directional vehicle from ground up, especially for urban environments. The VH1 prototype, developed by Zux founders Jesse and Tim Kentley Clay, set the foundation for Zux in 2015. By 2016, Zook had evolved from early prototypes to a refined industrial design that took urban needs into account. Their vehicle featured a minimalistic, symmetric design that went hand-in-hand hand with its bi-directional capabilities. In 2018, Zoox launched its first production-ready model in Las Vegas, showcasing its distinctive human-centered design. This model was a culmination of years of research, testing, and refinement, combining functionality with comfort and an eye towards real-world deployment. With a focus on passenger comfort, space efficiency, and safety, Zoox's design offers a glimpse into what the future of ride-hailing could look like for cities around the world. With deployments in San Francisco, Las Vegas, and Seattle, 
Companies like Waymo and Zooks are not just advancing technology, they are imagining what city transportation can look like in the coming future. While robotaxis took shape, other companies saw an opportunity to bring self-driving car technology to personal vehicles. In 2003, engineers Martin Eberhang and Mark Tepening seeded the idea of an electric car, Tesla, in San Carlos, California. The duo was inspired to create Tesla after GM recalled and destroyed its EV1 cars. Here is a short snippet showcasing a few of these remaining EV1 cars from the early 2000s. Most have ended up in research centers and are amongst the first fully functional electric vehicles developed and commercially launched. Elon later joined as an investor and as a chairman. Under his leadership, Tesla has transformed the automotive industry. From the launch of this version of Roadster in 2006 in California to Model S and Model X and the recent release of the full self-driving mode, Tesla has consistently pushed the boundaries and set new benchmarks for autonomous vehicles. If it all goes as planned, we might be able to see robot access from Tesla as early as 2027. If you are interested in learning more about the self-driving architecture of Tesla, we cover it in great detail in our course on Boring Sage. Link is available in the description below. Beyond Tesla, Mercedes, in collaboration with NVIDIA, has been advancing its self-driving car tech. Partnering with NVIDIA Labs and using the latest Hyperion sensor suite and the Orion computer developed by NVIDIA, these vehicles are being designed for full autonomy. While they haven't yet hit the commercial market, at the current pace of development, it's likely we'll see them on the streets soon. In fact, in 2020, Mercedes launched a limited edition of the S-Class equipped with the semi-autonomous capabilities. These vehicles marked a significant step forward towards full autonomy. And now, with the arrival of NVIDIA Drive partnership, we can expect to see even more advanced autonomous models on roads from Mercedes in the coming future. Beyond personal cars and taxis, self-driving car tech is also transforming mass transit systems. Navya, a company specializing in autonomous shuttles, has developed driverless vehicles designed to operate safely on fixed routes. You might see these shuttles on university campuses, in business districts, or even some city centers, offering an eco-friendly alternative for short-distance travel. Navya shuttles operate autonomously, reducing emission and easing congestion in crowded areas. These shuttles are currently being tested in places like the Michigan's M City, a state-of-the-art testing facility for autonomous vehicles. This is a 32-acre test facility specifically designed for the testing of these autonomous systems. Here, companies like Navia can push the limits of their autonomous driving technology, ensuring it meets rigorous standards for public safety and efficiency before it hits the real roads. While passenger transport draws much attention, there is another area where autonomy is making a big impact, and that's delivery. Neuro, a leader in the last mile delivery services, focuses on bringing groceries, goods, and packages directly to people's doorsteps by infusing autonomous driving technology in this arena. Neuro started with an idea. What if robots could enable local commerce, improving our communities and last mile deliveries? They designed a fully autonomous electric vehicle to carry goods and brought it to life. They are constantly making it better and here is the next generation of Neuro. This vehicle is equipped with large temperature control compartments to keep groceries, dairy and other perishable foods safe and secure. It's designed to be fully electric with zero emissions and most importantly, it prioritizes the safety of people around the vehicle over the good it carries. The vehicle is built to be multi-purpose and can be commercialized at scale. They started experimenting with this service in Northern California, focusing on areas like Palo Alto and surrounding neighborhoods. The goal here was to test the service in low to medium traffic zones to better understand how well it handles intersections and crosswalks, ensuring pedestrian safety. After successfully covering the major routes in Palo Alto, Neuro established a strong presence there and expanded to other cities across America, including Houston, Texas. Now, Neuro is expanding across the US with the Grand Tour, a nationwide mission to map new cities across the US. Over the next three months, their team will cover 80,000 miles across 53 major metro areas. Initially focused on grocery deliveries, 
New Road recently announced plans to expand their business by licensing their service to other car manufacturers. An essential part of New Road's commercial strategy is its partnerships. Partners include the world's largest grocer, a top food delivery restaurant, and one of the leading logistic companies in the world. Through strong partnership and an optimized vehicle design, New Road has found the right combination for scaling autonomous delivery. This means more free time for people, safer roads, stronger local economies, and healthier communities are just around the corner. You might ask why we should limit this technology to last mile deliveries. What about long haul transportation channels? The world of long haul trucking is also transforming with autonomous truck addressing some of the industry's biggest challenges. Aurora, a company founded by veterans from Google and Tesla, is developing autonomous systems specifically designed for heavy duty trucks. The heart of Aurora's technology lies in its sophisticated sensor and AI systems designed specifically for heavy duty trucks. These sensors are strategically positioned around the truck to create a 360 degree view of its surrounding. The goal here is to collect data from the fleet of trucks, develop autonomous navigation models, then test them in the real world and simulated environments, and then launch them on the road. These trucks are fitted with advanced sensors from LiDAR and radar to high resolution cameras, all working together to create a real time map of the truck surrounding. With these sensors, and the custom trained AI models responsible for path planning, behavior prediction and motion control, Aurora's trucks can now handle cross-country routes offering a safer, more efficient solution for the logistics industry. Currently, Aurora's trucks are being tested in highways across Texas and other regions in the US. Testing in Texas isn't just convenient, it's strategic. Texas is a hub for logistics with its long stretches of open roads and vast highway networks. Each mile log is a step closer to a fully autonomous logistics network. And as Aurora's technology proves itself on these highways, it's paving the way for the next phase, commercial deployment. Another major player in the autonomous trucking space is Too Simple. Based in California, Too Simple has developed self-driving trucks tailored specifically for freight using a mixture of advanced sensor and AI algorithms to ensure safe and efficient long-haul operations. Too Simple's technology is unique in its ability to handle complex long haul routes and high speed travel, navigating from highways to warehouse with minimal human intervention. One of Too Simple's standout innovation is its CyberMap feature. As each Too Simple truck travels its route, it continuously scans for unusual semi permanent obstacles like construction zones, lane closure, or accidents. When a truck detects such obstacles, it immediately sends this data in real time to a central data center. From there, the information is relayed to the entire fleet, allowing other two simple trucks on similar routes to preemptively adjust their navigation plan. This real-time data sharing means that two simple's fleet can adapt on the fly, avoiding unexpected delays and enhancing safety. The CyberMap feature ensures that every vehicle in the network benefits from the experience of the other, creating a highly connected, adaptive and resilient autonomous logistics system. Too Simple and Aurora are not the only ones transforming long haul transportation. Tesla has also joined the autonomous trucking race with its Tesla Semi, a vehicle that embodies Tesla's unique vision only approach. Unlike many competitors that incorporate LiDAR and radar, the Tesla Semi relies solely on an array of cameras combined with advanced AI to interpret its surroundings. This vision based method enables Tesla Semi to pursue and interpret the road using advanced neural networks processing vast amounts of visual data to make split-second driving decisions. The company is betting that continuous improvements in artificial neural networks will allow their trucks to achieve a high level of autonomy without the need for traditional and expensive sensors such as LiDARs. The underlying technology here is the same as the ones that powers the Tesla cars. We covered this technology in great detail in one of our videos on Boeing Sage here on YouTube. Link is available in the description below. Now let's get back to Tesla. Tesla Semi are being adopted by companies like PepsiCo. This adoption of Tesla Semi for pilot deliveries marks a pivotal step in autonomous freight. With this partnership, PepsiCo can now transport products across the US using Tesla's vision-driven autonomous trucks, minimizing driver involvement while increasing operational efficiency. This pilot also showcases how autonomous technology can streamline logistics offering PepsiCo 
a sustainable cost effective solution that could redefine how goods are transported on a nationwide scale. And for those of you who like your chips more than Pepsi, there is some good news. Tesla has heard your needs. There you go, Frito Lee fans. On a serious note, PepsiCo is rapidly growing its fleet of Tesla semis. Self driving technology has journeyed a long way since the early days of DARPA challenges. Today, we see autonomous navigation systems reshipping nearly every form of transportation from robotaxis and personal vehicles to logistics and public transit. As this technology continues to evolve, it promises to make our roads safer, our commutes easier, and our cities more connected. Question really is, how does this technology work and what are the underlying principles? We cover this technology and these case studies in great detail in our course on self-driving cars. From Zooks to Waymo and Tesla, we break down this tech in an easy to understand manner for you. Ready to start your journey in this field? Check the link in the description below. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the self-driving car industry. Thank you.